Hi, this is the darned patch that I'm going to show you today. Um, I've got loads of holes in this t-shirt as you can see. So that patch that I just showed you is the first one of four or five I think that I have to do. And because the, there are so many holes and the holes are so big, I decided that I should use nice bright alternating colours and really make a thing of it. So the fabric on this t-shirt, it's 100% linen, um, but it's really fragile and delicate. I don't know if you can see there, um, but I'm working really carefully so that I don't make any further holes or damage to the fabric. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to start off my darned patch and hopefully you've watched my video on how to darn on YouTube and that will show you the basics, but I'm actually changing things up a bit here and what I'm doing is I'm sewing these small stitches as you can see there before I sew my warp thread so what I find with these stitches is that they actually help to create a flatter patch without those stitches sometimes the patch can feel a little higher than the fabric it doesn't really sit within the fabric so these small stitches they just seem to really secure the patch into the fabric, if that makes sense, and, and make it feel like it's part of the fabric, which is great. And as it washes in, I think that will, that will work in its favor. So there's the first two warp threads, and then I'm gonna carry on in this way, in this thread. Um, I'm using a lot of different ends of threads, so I'll be changing colors just as and when I run out of each one. So now I've just switched over to the teal thread and the same thing, just making those small stitches is quite helpful having uh, the stripes on this t-shirt as I'm using those white areas to make that stitch which keeps it even and then again making those warp threads and using the stripes to keep it straight. And if you're using a plain fabric obviously you can just uh, draw your design on or you can just do it freestyle. I'm just changing colours again here and what's really nice about working this way is that you can obviously plan out a design or check pattern that you want for the patch but because I'm just using the tail ends of different threads I'm going to have a slightly different pattern on each of those patches that I'm doing and I quite like that it's sort of nice to see the pattern emerging as you're working because I'm using the same colours, they still feel like they're a collection, but without the pressure of have you done enough rows in each colour, etc. So this is quite a big hole in this t-shirt. It's taken about 45 minutes to do this patch, which is why I've obviously sped part of this up for you. But it's a lovely thing to do slowly and meditatively. There we go, so that's all the warp threads done. You can just about see the hole behind those threads there. So now I'm going to create the weft threads, so the horizontal threads, and again I'm creating those small stitches either side of the warp threads. And again, if you've seen my previous video, you'll know this, but I've just switched there to the eye of the needle, which makes it a lot easier to thread through those warp threads, going over, under, over, under. I've used embroidery thread here because I wanted the weight of three strands of thread, but it can be quite fiddly to not catch 
individual threads so using the eye of the needle really helps here. I've also used a really long darning needle and if you can get some of these they're really great for larger darns. As you can see I can push that needle down and make sure the tension's right and I can make it all the way through to the end of those warp threads without having to break in between because the needle's long enough. Another thing you can do, if you've got your longer tail threads, you can see there I was just gently pulling on them and that makes sure that the tension stays good as you're working. And sometimes the threads can move around a bit and feel a little loose, but just giving a gentle pull on them can make sure everything stays straight. Just changing colours here, moving over to grey colour. You can already see the pattern that's starting to build up through the different colours. I think it's a really nice effect. There's so many different ways that you can create patterns of darning, but there is something really nice just about the simplicity of, of changing your colours halfway through. I think it works really well. Again, using the needle there to push all the threads down. It keeps the weave nice and straight. changing colours again here, back to the teal colour. As you come towards the top of your warp threads, you'll find it gets a bit more tricky to go over and under the threads without catching anything. But you just keep going in the same way, nice and slowly.
as you come to the last few rows, you can feel a natural finish when you just can't get your needle through anymore. So when you get to that point, you can just secure it off. And that's it, that's the patch all finished. I've got all these ends that I need to weave in and I've actually pulled the corner of the t-shirt there. I don't know if you can see that, but that's just a thread I can trim off in a minute. And I can take the hoop off. What I can do at this point is take a needle and pull those tail threads through from the right side into the wrong side like this. Just so that I can see how the patch is going to look. You can see that hole's been really well covered there. And that's it, that's the second patch done.